All right, so today I will be teaching you how to set up your Deriv Trading View, every tool and how it works. Uh, fortunately, the interface, the normal Trading View uses is quite similar to how you know Deriv works. So if you're already conversant with Trading View, you you're not gonna have any difficulties. So the first thing you want to do is head over to www. or just type out Deriv, you know Deriv Trading View and you would want to go there where you see head over to advanced trading charts and all of that now a platform like this opens up first one you have is the search bar in your top left corner the symbol search once you type on that or tap on that you would see we have five different uh, descriptions over there and the symbols will have the forex indices yes you can trade forex pairs from euro usd Euro USD, JP, USD, JPY, etc. You just tap on it, right? And it appears, you search. Or you could trade or analyze, stock. check out every stock right there, stock indices or commodities. Yeah, you have gold, you have palladium, platinum, silver, you have derivatives, which is our main emphasis. And you have all the derivatives right there um, from volatility to step index to you know boom and crash and all of that then finally you have cryptocurrencies so you would want to first search out you know the currency pair you're most you know comfort uh comfortable with or you'll be analyzing let's say in this case volatility 25 index right so once that's been done the second part is compare or add symbol i don't use this so i'm not going to stress myself out over here then the next is the time frame in the time frame you get to select the time frames or the zones you're analyzing I will tell you to just just highlight this, add this to your favorite, the 24 hour, the 4 hours, the 2 hours is optional, I usually use all of that, then the 13 minute, the 15 minutes, and then the 5 minutes. Yeah, so once you highlight them, everything shows up so you don't have to constantly keep going here. Then over here you have the charts, uh, we have the candles, which is the default, we also have the bar, we could also set like the hollow candles or you could choose something else area or something pardon i just need the candles i'm more conversant with the candles i don't really care about the rest of them it's okay then we also have the indicators the indicators is where you get your rsi your accelerator uh, oscillator your asi any of those stuff moving averages all of that uh, right now i'm not going to use any of them and then you have over here your undo in case you make a mistake you can easily press you know the undo button and here you can save the templates right so perhaps you have changes you could always save that or you could preload uh, an existing template you could search out uh, quick search right here the tool or function i haven't used that before so here's where you get the settings and in the settings you can then adjust you know what you like i normally love putting mine uh, red and black or red black on white so that's my default pattern if i'm going for a light color i would always usually that's my preference though i just like it that's about it precision time zone utc whatever status line uh i don't know what any of these are so so that's for you to you know just explore so this is this is it for me then the next is full screen mode Perhaps you don't want any distractions, you just want to analyze in peace. Yes, this is the full screen then to, you know, exit this uh, full screen. You just have to press escape, ESC uh, on your keyboard. Then the next is you have it, uh, you can take a snapshot where you can copy your image or download the image. Uh, yeah, over here at the top right corner, you'd also see this moon icon signifying you can make it dark which I always like that way. So whenever I do things like that, I could always go over to the symbol and then always just realign it to my default colors. So with that, you are good to go with understanding the basics, right? So over here right now, we then have understood the first part of the bar. The next part is understanding the tools at our disposal. So over here, we have this icon which has the cursors then we have the dots we have the normal cursor or you want to use a dot or an arrow on or let's say demonstration 
That may not be bad in itself, so I would be using that to properly demonstrate. I like that instead. Uh, so I'm just going to put a highlight on this, right? So you add it up so you don't have to constantly keep going there. Then the next are the normal trend lines. So you tap on this little icon that pops up for the options. Now I'm going to select this trend line here, adding it to the favorite. Then we also need a horizontal trend line, uh, horizontal lay. Uh, that's it for me. We have other stuff here that isn't really of much importance But you could explore But for now, it's not really necessary Then we head over to I don't use the Fibonacci tools at all So I'm not gonna talk about that and I also don't use the patterns in this particular cycle the Elliot or whatever I don't use any of these so I head over to the next which is the forecasting and measurement tools with this uh, I would highlight the long positions, the short positions, and that's about it for me. That's all I need here. Any of the other stuff is none of my concern. So the long position in simple terms, it just simply stands for taking your long positions. You know, when the market is buying, where you put your SL, your take profit, etc., or the short positions when you want to go for a sell trade. All right, that's about it there. So uh, I've highlighted that. Then we also have the brush or the brushes. I don't use the brushes. However, we have the rectangle and the path and the circle. So I'm just going to highlight these three. We're going to be using them for analysis. And then finally, this is where I come to a pause, the text. Highlight all these on these are the tools you'll be needing or will be needing or the tools I use. Right, there are several tools out there, but I don't use most of them. I just need, or I use what I need and I move on. The stickers are for those people who want to be, you know, a bit creative, sure. Uh, zoom in, zoom out, whatever, depending on what you want to do. I mean, okay, then zoom out, whatever. So that's, that's about it. I don't really stress myself with all of this. Now, once that's done, you are set to go.